All right, today we got to redo the seams on our lanes. It's been, it's past five years where it's required. I got my isopropyl alcohol, IPA 99. We're gonna go ahead and clean around the seam. Then I'm gonna take our uh, razor blade, really thin blade. You wanna use as thin as you can. And I'm gonna be cutting down the seam and the blade itself has an angle on it. So as I cut, I'm gonna be tipping the angle to one side of, I'm gonna tip it first to the upper, the raised portion of the lane, and I'm cutting along this side of this one. And then I'm gonna run it back down again, and I'm gonna cut on the lowered portion of the lane towards myself. So I'm cutting it off of both sides. Don't get in a hurry. Last thing you want to do is gouge up your lanes. So I'm tilting the blade towards the left side of your screen. As I come back now, I'm going to tilt it towards the right side of the screen. all the old seam sealant. Go ahead and keep track of your trash. Now I'm going to go through here. i got to do a lot more cleaning. I'm going to be running the blade through here about three or four times. Make sure I clean everything out and then I'll bring you back. Don't want you to waste your time watching all that. Alright, I thought it would be important to go ahead and show you that uh, even though I cut, it, cut that sealant out the first time, you can see how much more is still down in the lane as I'm cutting across. You gotta think your panels are about a half inch thick, so that's how far you get. You're not gonna get all of it out in the first cut. Now I'm cutting to the toward the right side of this or towards the right side and all that seam out and next thing I do when I am cleaning it out I, I'm going to go through and I'm going to use the front dull edge of this blade try to get in the center of the camera the front dull edge as basically a plow to dig it out of that trough and I'm going to work it up now. I'm lucky that the bottom edge of my razor knife here is rounded. It's kind of a, a, a not a sharp edge, a dull edge. So I can run that across the panel and it won't gouge it. So you got to watch that too. If you don't have a knife or a blade that has a rounded edge there, then I'd be careful because as you're trying to press that out of there, you may gouge into your, blade, into your lane with the blade itself. So I just put it in there and you just bulldoze it. Just take your time because it's going to pack, it's going to pile up as you're pushing it out. See how it brought all that excess up? All right, so now you see the techniques on extracting it out of there. I am going to finish the rest of this, clean it up, and then I'll bring you back for the next part. All right, now I got all the sealant out of the lanes, the old sealant. See it? That's all of it right there. <coughs> uh, I'm going to go ahead and spray the seams. Uh, if you'll notice, whenever you cut it out of there, you'll have some congealing oil to come out of there. That's the conditioner that is sometimes got in there. If it's not sealed well enough, it'll come out. So since, it's down, since I know someone's down in there and I want to seal well, 
I'm going to go ahead and spray my IPA 99 right down in the seam. Hopefully in an attempt to clean some of the side walls. Go ahead and wipe it down so it'll be clean for where I put my tape down. Then I'm going to go ahead and blow it out with the air compressor, to dr hopefully to dry out the IPA 99. Now it's all clean. We've got to go ahead and tape it off. You have to tape it off the uh, silicone that you're going to put in the seam. It does not hold any of the oil and it's hard to get off the lane. So you want to make sure and tape right up to the edge of that seam so that you don't get anything on the panel itself. Because once you get the silicone, it's a heck of a time to get it all off of there and you want to make sure that it doesn't interfere with the patterns that you're trying to put out. I go ahead and take the tape and I fold it a tab down here. The reason I fold the tab is tomorrow, once this is dry and I want to pull it off, I have me sitting here and picking at the tape forever trying to get it off, I'll have a tab to grab real quick and remove it. Now you want to make sure your bull noses were clean. The bull nose, the edge of the panel, all the way down was cleaned out. So you'll go ahead and tape even down the edge because you're going to seam, you're going to refill that as well. Now I, I usually start the tape and then I'll take my tape, I'll show you from the side. I'll take the tape once it's started and I'll roll it down as close as I can. I'll roll it down as close as I can to the panel itself to help me square it up with the line. If you try and tape it down way up in the air, it can get off on you. And the tape itself does have a little bit of flexibility, so long as you just take your time, you can smooth it out, slick it out real nice. I want a nice fresh piece of tape here. So, big tab. All right. Start just a little, I'm just going to touch it on that corner, then seal the whole thing down until I get my straight line going. Okay. Now I can seal it, press it down, push it around the bull-nosed rounded edge of this panel, <coughs> bring the rest out. Just take your time, tape it right. You never want to get in a hurry to mess anything up. my tab, make it easier to remove, stick just a little corner, stick in this corner down just a little, right on the edge of that seam, I want to see that black line down in there, I'm rolling my tape down to the panel to get it closer, before I seal this down, make sure it's right. go. Got a little bit of a wrinkle here, but it, like I said, if you take your time, you can work it out. So now that wrinkle's gone, it's flat. Don't just press and rub it down.
So you'll notice that the post of removing the tape and finalizing seaming, seam sealing the lane, I posted before doing a video actually on sealing the lane. That's only because uh, I can only do one lane a week. It takes so long. Got to let it dry. I don't want to. I let it dry for one whole day, so I don't want to take up all the lanes on the house and cost too much money. So I can only do one one lane a week. And last week's film didn't turn out so well, so I decided to go ahead and post the removal video, and now I'm going to post the sealing video. So a little out of order, but. Now I got my uh, Dow Corning 11.99. Got to cut off a small, cut off a little tip as small as you can. And as I run this tube along the panel, since there is an angle cut on this, I don't know if you can see it, but I'm going to run this at that angle and try and keep it as flat as I can, as flat as I can on the surface. And as I am, as I am administering this. I'm trying to inject it into the seam. <clears throat> A word of advice, don't seal your bolt, your rounded edges first. Seal those last, so start at the top. And you want to seal across here, and the reason that you leave your sides open is that's whenever you're pressing this in, because later on we need to take this knife and we're going to press this into the seam, you want your air to escape from both sides. If you cap your sides and start pressing it down, you're going to get bubbles through the middle, and it's just a pain in the butt. So I'm going to go ahead and be putting this in. Hopefully you'll see as it comes out. It's going to be pressing out the other side. I'll bring you down here to look at it closer. You want it to kind of come out like a molehill. When a mole is digging a, a trench through your yard and the mound comes up out the other side, that's what you're looking for. Keep it close to the surface, but don't press too hard. You end up tearing off your tape, and then that's going to get sealant a little bit more than inside just the seam. It'll come out the side some. You don't want that. I'm going to bring you down here. I'm going to try to do this one-handed, see how that works out. I'm going to show you the seam, how it's coming out. Clean this tip off. Got it pitched up in the air. Not doing so well one-handed. There we go. See how it's starting to just mound out where it's being injected down in the seam. Once it hits the bottom, it just pushes everything out the other side. That's what you need to do, just a nice, tight little beat. All right. seam as quick as I can, just within a timely manner, not in a rush to hurry and ruin anything.
Now I've got the sealant down the seam. I need to press it back with the knife. You need to spread it. This is the lower panel. This is the raised panel. You want to bring it across this way so you're basically scraping it across the edge of the upper, the higher raised panel, and pressing it down in there. Work it in a crisscross pattern. Then I'm going to go ahead and scrape down. I'm scraping off the raised panel just to get me some excess silicone on my blade, on my scraper. That. Now I'm going to cap the end with it. Scrape it off. Pressing it right down in that rounded nose. Now I'm going to do the other end. more off the front here. Alright, so now that my ends are capped and sealed, and I'm going to take my knife and I want to clean this seam off. You want to run it across the, the high edge and the, and the lower panel, trying to, trying to, it's hard to do this, trying to scrape it clean. Uh, if you just leave it with a bunch of humps on it and high spots, when you go to remove the tape in the, in the earlier video, it will just, it'll be so thick it won't really shear off and tear off clean. You get big chunks that try and pull off. So that's why I'm taking the blade and going down it. Go ahead and clean my blade off. Start with a fresh blade, go right down the seam. That's all the excess I got off. Alright, let it dry overnight and come back and take it off the next morning.